network and the destination will be the 192.168.1.10 address and we can specify that by selecting this uh, drop down menu and we'll create a new rule uh, using an access control list and we'll just call this VPN traffic we'll add a new rule we want to protect the traffic and specify the source host or network we'll, s we'll say that the type is a, a network and this is the 172.16.1.0 network with the wildcard mask appropriate to that particular network and uh, this is going to be the destination of the 192.168.1.10 and that must match every single bit the protocol that we're using is IP and be well we won't necessarily need to log matches against this that's that's uh, something that's up to you whether or not you want to do that in your own policies or if your organization requires extensive logging you can go ahead and set that up hit OK. We can see our access list here. Select OK. And we'll finalize the crypto map. OK. And go ahead and hit OK to add that IPsec policy. Once again, just go ahead and select OK. And this is what I'm talking about with the preview commands before they're sent to the router. We can see here we've created that IP access list and it, it's an extended named access list with the permit IP from our source network to our destination network. We've created the IPsec crypto transform set with the, tra uh, the name here STM transform set one and our methods. This is a going to be tunnel mode so that the entire packet is encrypted and encapsulated and there's a new IP address added to it in transport mode that's what you're going to use within a LAN so that it maintains the original IP address and the header information there and the only part that's en encrypted is uh, is the the actual payload so down below here we have the crypto map that uh, very similar to uh, Re the method that you use for redistribution or route maps we're going to match the address or the uh, ACL that we created VPN traffic we'll set the peer once it matches it to our peer rem or remote site and we'll set the transform set to what we had specified before finally here we'll apply the crypto map to that uh, fast ethernet zero